How's it going, everyone? So it's the old gaming vlog here, and I'm gonna be playing Starbound. Um, let me just start by saying two things. First, uh, this is a post commentary because I was supposed to do a live one, but the live one got screwed up, so I'm gonna do post commentary now. Uh, second of all, uh, this is the character custom creation or or customization menu, which, as you can see, it's much more extensive than Terraria. And yes, I'm gonna be mentioning Terraria, not a lot because. Um, but th that's the first thing, the first idea that's gonna come to mind. And the only difference between male and female characters is uh, boobies. Um, as you can see, every time I change the, the sex, only it shows up a little couple lumps in the chest area there. And that's pretty much it. I'll randomize just to see what you know type of characters you guys can see. But uh, basically, this one are monkeys, and this one are, are weird aliens, I suppose. But yes, there are races and, and there's customization wise, it's much more complex than Terraria, mu much better as well. And uh, there's quite a lot of differences between the characters. Now, for this for this video, uh, and, and, and I like how he's just done the, the, the plugs as, as the gender, <laughs> which is quite a nice touch. Obviously nothing original, nothing new, but it's it's a nice touch. Anyways, uh, for, for, this, for this video in particular, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a human character. I'm gonna give him some simple features. Don't want to spend too much time. Then already have over a minute now on this uh, this character creation menu because this is not what people want to see. Really, you want to see the the gameplay and the game itself, which I will show in the near future. Uh, yes, yeah, so let me just apologize by 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 this sound quality not being that great, but um, oh well. Uh, oh, also uh, another thing I want to mention: this is in beta right now, so. It's about twenty dollars, I think it is, or at least it's eleven pounds, which would translate to twenty something dollars. I'm not hundred percent sure if it is or not, but it's eleven pounds in the UK right now, uh, which is it, it's a bit too much in my opinion, seeing that the game is in beta, and and that the game is this type of game. I just I'm not very convinced by it, but yes, that's the price of it. Uh, the there is general updates going almost every day. So the game is updated very regularly, as uh, most beta games currently on Steam right now. They they do get a lot of a uh, lot of updates. Not like a certain game that changed its name and only gets an update about once a year, which is coincidentally uh, the same amount amount of time that it has been out. Anyways, um, yes, let's go. Uh, new quests. Um, yes, uh, you you can pause the video and read all this if you want. I don't particularly want to care, want to read all this or care much about it. But yes, you got quests in this game, which again in Terraria you don't have quests. So this is a, a more RPG-ish type of game. Uh, everything in this game is also randomly generated. So let me try to put this game in a nutshell. As you can see, I started in a space uh, ship, so I'm in space right now. This is like my inventory item menu kind of thing, my, uh, my, my storage stuff. Where I can take uh, all the items in there, flashlights, uh, the, that break every single block, and the sword, which is uh, which is not that great, but um, it, it's starting items. There's also torches, which is unlike the flashlight, you can just put them everywhere. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like a futuristic, back to the past type of game, where yes, you got like advanced spaceships, but also you you go to to planets where they're not that advanced and they're quite in their uh, earlier form. There are aliens, which again, enemies, terrain, and pretty much everything in this game is uh, randomly generated. Okay, and almost everything is breakable as well. So, y you, you can break it. Uh, again, I should not mention Terraria too much in this video, or not as much as I would mention Minecraft in the Terraria videos. It's okay to do some comparisons, but um, the games are different. Uh, they have the same same kind of style, but they're still different games. Now, if you go to this platform here, it's kind of like the telepath platform kind of thingy, where it is going to very slowly. Oh, there we are. Going to put you into into this planet, right now. Um, the game does play quite all right on my computer, but I have a pretty beefy computer, and the game sometimes jitters and, and juggles a little bit. I know that's only normal because the game is in the beta, but I don't feel like it should really happen on this type of game. This is a 2D side-scroller, for the love of God. I don't think there's anything much complex going on. Um, it's totally not optimized, though. And these little guys keep showing up and, and doing, me, doing me damage. One big complaint I have about this game is, as you guys can see, it's been 5 minutes in the game. And about 20 seconds, seeing that I've, I've been out here, and my health is already halfway down. The enemies, you have very little health and the enemies do too much damage. 
that is the complaint I have. At least for the time being, for, for the beginning of the game, because I have right now no uh, no armor, no, no defense, anything. I only got a crappy sword and that's pretty much it. So perhaps that would be due to that, or, or that perhaps that would also be due to me not really knowing how to play the game very well just yet, even though this is not my first time I've, I've done. I think the most time I spent on this game was about half an hour. Putting this 15 minute video in, that'd be less than an hour of gameplay so far. Um, I'm not going to do a, a gameplay, a let's play of this game just yet. Although I do want to do a first impressions in a gameplay with a couple friends of mine that also got this game. Sadly enough, that's not going to happen just yet. Um, the game is still too early and, and I don't think... Uh, I need to learn more about the game before I start doing any type of gameplay on it. Uh, I need a few more hours on it. Oh, there's a tree there, which I will... Take down the tree in a minute, and as you guys will see, the tree has a nice going down, not being knocked down animation. Also, the enemies uh, kind of give out money, which is at the top right corner. It's at 45 right now. I'm not 100 percent sure why it, why we need money. What what's money for? But I know it's somewhat important to the game, so whatever. I I, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, yeah, as you guys can see, this takes quite a while because this is like um master of you know of all trades uh, jack of all trades master of none because it uh, it does mine everything that i know of and it's also used to place items but it does not do it very well it takes extremely long time even with a, a, a you know a, a copper pickaxe let's a copper hatchet let's say or even a stone hatchet would do it faster than this but um yeah it's, it's the main tool that you have the first tool that you have at least you start with one Anyways, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm knocking down the trees. The trees go down with a nice animation. It gives the blocks of wood all over the place. So, uh, which, if they're in like mini dungeons like this one, then uh, it might be a little tricky to get. But it's it's easy enough. Anyway, my first impression with the game is the game is is good. Uh, I'm sure there is crap ton of potential on it. But um, this is more aimed at the younger generation of kids. Um, not really aimed at me because yes uh, although the game is great i'm not the type of person that that cares too much about graphics on the game obviously i care the game about the, the playability and the fun factor in the game other than graphics and all that that crap that doesn't really matter that much uh young ones perhaps will will worry about more about that than me but i don't but anyways um yeah the, the, it's just with all the i need to go upstairs but obviously i won't be able to jump so i need to build a platform to get up there uh, like I was saying, th with, with all the games that are coming out there, DayZ, uh, Rust, GTA V, and, and God knows how I many other hundred million thousands of games that are coming out nearly a every week now. Every week there's, there's a AAA title game coming out that's better than the last one. So many games coming out. I don't think I'm going to go for this one too much. Um, I know I already got it and all that. But I, I don't know. I, do, I just don't, I don't, I don't feel like this, this game outstands more than any other. Again, there's the Terraria kind of aspect deal. I know the game is different. I'm not ignorant enough to, to think that or, you know, or, or to compare them too much. Um, I know it's different and I know Terraria itself is a lot of fun. Even if it was a ripoff of Terraria, as long as it has the fun factor or, or the improved fun factor as it does seem to, to, to be. Um, I, that's not it. I just, I don't know. Something about this game, just I don't feel like uh, spending too much time on it. I don't know. Just I just... Maybe it's because I don't know much about it, and I, I don't learn too much about the game. Maybe it's because I just I'm playing uh, other better games. I've been playing World of Warcraft a lot recently, and 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 uh, Rust and and DayZ and stuff like that. So I've been playing all that a lot recently, which I will make videos about it in the near future. I already told you guys I would, and I will. Um, I've been playing a lot of that recently, and it's fantastic. I don't know why. Um, also, the displacing of these blocks is a bit weird. Cause sometimes you place them small, other times you place them big, and I'm not 100% sure what to do. Now, this is poison right here. That green stuff, yeah, as you guys can see, I've, I've just been poisoned. And my health is going to degrade up to up till I die, actually. And I don't know how to cure myself from the poison, and I don't know how to heal myself either. As far as I'm concerned, I haven't seen any healing items anywhere. And, yeah, that, I don't know... I have absolutely no idea what to do here. Uh, other than once I go upstairs, I'm going to die. Uh, I, I remember that much, but that's pretty much it. Uh, as you guys can see, this is the flashlight on. If you're poisoned and you, your health reaches to... Oh, there we go. I'm dead. 
your health reaches to zero and you're still poisoned and you get poisoned more often and then you're you're just not gonna lose any more health or you lost a lot. So that's not gonna not gonna impact you at all. However, <coughs> any other damage that you take you, you're gonna lose health. I don't know, or at least so far I never seen the health coming back um gradually. And I know that perhaps it does happen. I just I I never saw it happen, so I don't know. Okay? Let me just put that put that out there. I have no idea if the health comes back gradually or not. Anyways, um, the only other way I know how to heal is, is by sleeping. You gotta uh, make yourself a, a wooden bed, of course. And if you sleep on it, your health comes back. But obviously you can't do anything. But other than that, I don't know. And that's the, perhaps the main issue. That uh, I don't know how to do almost anything. I, I know how to do some stuff. Obviously, common sense and basic logics comes into mind. But there's a lot of other stuff. I know the game is probably a lot more than I'm what I'm giving it credit for. And I'm not giving it that much credit for because I don't know stuff. And perhaps that's an issue. Uh, I'm trading one weapon for that one. Even though I think I will be keeping the sword as well though. Um, anyways, uh, the not knowing is perhaps the issue. Oh, that's coal by the way, which is also used as fuel for the to, to fuel the spaceship to, to move it to other planets and whatnot. Uh, uh, that's worth noting that as well. But yes, uh, but this is a first impressions video, and uh, perhaps will not be the, l the the last video I do about this, of course. But I don't expect to see many more videos from this game, uh, at least not anytime soon. There's a lot of other uh, games I want to do, especially uh, on the 2014, which is just around the corner. It, it's about uh, three more days until New Year's comes up. I hope you guys have a fantastic. Uh, beginning of 2014 as well. I know I keep saying this in videos that are it's unrelated, but um, yes. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is some item management here 101. It's not hard. If you press and hold shift and right click, left click, sorry, on stuff, uh, it goes automatically to the box. And obviously that as well, something that I just actually learned in the game, and I want to pass that information to you guys. I'm gonna go back to the uh, planet. I don't know if there's a uh, a limited amount of times that. Uh, Alpha Bellatrix Minoris I A or one A. It, that that's the randomly name. Uh, and, and as you can see, I just spawned again in 20 seconds, and look at my health. It's already halfway down. And and yes, I killed that guy, but my point is, you lose health way too fast, way too soon. The enemies respawn every time you either die or go back to the, your um, your ship, which is it, obviously it's great that the enemies respawn, but it, the problem persists. I still lose a lot of health. Until I can build myself some armor, or even learn how to build myself some armor, I'm gonna have to deal with these enemies to be kicking my ass, basically. Look how fast and how, how... Look how many of them there are right now, and how fast and how high they can jump and stuff like that. So it it's not uh, it's not too fair on me, but uh, luckily this, this new weapon is kind of strong. I tried to, to jump the first one, but of course I failed, so I'm poisoned again. What I can do right now is try to... Yeah, get... I'm gonna get damage from there, but... Uh, uh, at least uh, I passed through that area. Now this part right here, I thought uh, I could get those potions somehow, but I pressed every single button combination I could, and uh, you can't get them. And apparently they are part of the background. Now this door up here goes to nowhere other than back downstairs, so it's a bit stupid. To, and th this other door is incredibly stupid where it, where it is. Yes, you can open it, but then where where can you go? It should have been up there, not down there. Luckily for me, I can break all these blocks. And... Um, yeah, so, so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing now, uh, which takes ages, but I'll be breaking all of this crap to pass through. However, I don't think I'll be doing the, it in this video, because this is just... This was boring me, and, and honestly, I just wasn't not into the game when I played it. Perhaps I should give this game another chance, and, uh, you know, see how it is. But anyways, guys, this is my first impressions of uh, Starbound. I know the game has potential, I know it's a good game, I... For some odd reason, I'm not into it. Perhaps it's gonna be gonna be one of them games that I just I don't particularly like the look of it when I first play it, and then I get highly addicted to the game and play many 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 hours on it. Perhaps that this is it. But so far, I was not very impressed with the game as it currently is. Again, it's still in beta. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, my my first impressions. And see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, you can hit that like button. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook for all my video updates. Oh, and subscribe on YouTube.
Want to see more of this series? Check out the playlists on the left side or the previous or the next video of this series.